To start off, I'm going to make an opening form tag. So here we can group all of our input elements together. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text box, radio buttons, and check boxes. So first we're going to make a text box, and this is going to allow us to get user input through the keyboard. So we're going to type in input and then type text. This is saying that we want a text box to show up in our browser. Now, what we want to do is give a name to all of our input fields, and we can just call this text box just to give it, you know, like a label. And you can also give it a value, which will automatically show up in the text box once the user opens up your web page. And they can also delete it once they see it. So let's just say type here as kind of like a hint, and then close off that input tag. Now let's uh, create those radio buttons. And what radio buttons are, are buttons that you can press, but you can only select one of them in a group. So let's put in radio for the type and put a name to it. And what this, these uh, radio buttons are going to be are the names of animals. So dog, cat, and rabbit. And let's actually put a header here and say, what is your favorite animal? So they can choose only one out of these three options that we're giving them. So dot, I mean pets for the name, and all of these radio buttons are going to have the same name because they can only choose one. And then you can close it off and you can give it a label by just typing out dog like this, and then you give it a BR tag to break so it's going to move on to the next line because we don't want all of the radio buttons to be in the same row. And then our second input uh, radio button is going to be uh, cat and our third will be rabbit. Okay, so now that we're done with this group of radio buttons, let's move on to checkboxes. And for this, I'm going to put a header and say, uh, do you have any siblings? And here we're going to have a checkbox for if you have a sister and then another checkbox for if you have a brother. So you can select one, two, or none of them. And that's the difference between radio buttons and checkboxes. So here I'm going to put input type again and checkbox name siblings and this will be sister. Uh, put a BR tag, and then let's do the same thing. Okay, so now that we're done with this, let's save it and see how it looks. Here is our value. This is what we put for the value attribute. And you can delete it and just type whatever you want into that text box. And then we have our radio buttons, which we can only check one of them at a time. And we also have these checkboxes, which you can just select and deselect at your will.